Welcome to a quick video where we're going to talk about how to get a visual choice board with clickable links uh, that has been cr created in Google Slideshow uh, into Seesaw. And I just want to show you um, what I believe is the quickest way to do it. Um, the reason for doing it um, as a link in Seesaw rather than trying to embed it in any way other than embedding a link is so that if I decide afterwards I need to change something on like this quickly, I can just do so. And also, that means I can have a weekly planner set up in Seesaw and just keep rescheduling that same weekly planner every week and these contents just change, but the activity just keeps on getting rescheduled, so there's nothing more to do on the Seesaw side other than reschedule. Um, over here I have a little talking box uh, that's animated to disappear after the screen comes on just with a quick welcome and the perennial instructions so what we're doing now is clicking up the top on the URL and away we go copying that command C or control C straight to Seesaw uh, have an activity that I've already started up here so I'm just clicking on the three dots and editing that activity and in here I'm going to paste the link so there's a couple of places for the pupils to get to it and just pasting there. This is the important bit to make it open and full screen when the kids click on it. Take the word present, and, I mean word edit and just quickly change it to the word present. So that's done and I'm now going to click down here in multimedia instructions, go straight to link, click on that, paste the same link up there again and delete the word edit once more and type in present. When I've done that I'm pressing the tick and this is the important part, choose continue and it goes off and takes a screen snapshot um, notice that Seesaw has had an activity or had a, had a problem here um, I know that the link is correct so I'm just going to go back, delete and start over press on link, paste click, make sure you don't delete anything else other than those ones there, maybe I did on that previous bit, deleted too far, press continue and there we go, the board is in there ready to go um, notice for some reason it doesn't have the speech bubble there, I'll mention something about that when we go back to the testing it, so there's the activity I'm just saving it, um, I could obviously now schedule that um, when I click on here or here or here it goes to the same place which is off to my Google slideshow straight into full present mode and these instructions will disappear shortly and I'm ready to click on my links by the way I have found that if sometimes you put instructions over the top of um, other links that you've put on it then they become non-clickable for whatever reason uh, so if I click on here, it's going to open up the DT Jokes video show that I recorded and obviously play that and so on. So all those links are now clickable and available for the pupils to use. Um, hope that helps you out and don't forget to check out my other help videos to do with Seesaw. Click on subscribe and you'll get notification of any uh, future updates. Cheers. Oh, 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 oh,